Hello, hello, y'all come on in, come on in. Good evening, good evening. Come on in. Come on in, come on in. Let's see who I can pick up on. Hey, Brother Ezra and Sister Rhonda, if you're nearby. Reverend Kenneth Augus and of course his family. God bless you. Brother Brooks. Reverend Kenneth and family. Come on in. Please the Lord. Take a seat. Like, comment, share as you're coming in. A good blessed evening to you all. Time to uh, evangelize. Uh, Hi, Sister Put on Sherry. your uh, uh, evangelist shoes. Sister Sherry Dennis, God bless you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Shereen. Hi, Kamiko. Stevenson and Jermaine Stevenson. Yes. And Brother the little Julio. one. God bless you all. This is Marcia Williams. Williams. God bless you. Yeah, Anthony on in, Lucky Diorio. Hi, Brother Diorio. Y'all come on in. Like, comment, and share as you're coming in. Bertha Joshua, God bless you. Bertha. Blessings, blessings. Hallelujah. God bless you, Glad. Hi, sister. Uh, Joyce Danger. Joyce Danger Fear. Bertha Walker. If you're nearby, good evening. Y'all come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Sister Irma Rattany is Hi, in the sister house. Irma. Hi, Dawn. Come on in. Hi, Brother Don't Craig. Believe Brother Craig Strasclair, yes, Minister of Music, the Maestro. Y'all come on Julie, in. Yes. Hey, Tiff Lawrence. Come on in, come on in. We have Mother and Sister Connie so far on Zoom. Connie has pivoted and Hi, shifted to uh, Facebook, so she got yes. two, uh, two devices open. Of course, she's on Zoom and Facebook. She said she has no sound. Is anyone else? George Danza here has no sound. Anybody having problem with sounds? Can you all hear us on, on Facebook? If you can hear us, please put a thumb up. Sister Dolores Ivory, if you can hear us, make sure our thumb is up. Uh, Sister uh, Maxine Lawless from Lee City, Texas. God bless you. Mary Ann Winchester, can you hear us? Can you hear us now? Uh, Ms. Okay. Mary says good on her end. Okay. Connie got some thumbs up. Okay, okay. okay. Can you hear Check us now? Check your devices, uh, Danger Field. Winifred Peterson, Pearson, yes, thank you. God bless you. Anthony Lucky D. Oreo. Okay, thank you all. Thank you all. Come on in. Praise like the Lord. We're going to shift that thumb to say, hey, share. Let's share. Let's like. Let's comments. Make sure we tag somebody in. Hallelujah. Uh, this is a lesson, uh, a lesson that is certainly uh, uh, for all of us as believer things that we can expect, but how we as believer can triumph even in the season that we're in as we're dealing with persecution and suffering and uh, for the for the name of Christ. Yeah. Hi, Chelsea. Hi, Chelsea. Chelsea, chime in. Good Hi, afternoon, uh, 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 Our firstborn, Chelsea. God bless you. T. Nanny is in the house. Yeah. I'll see you, T. Nanny. Hey, T. Nanny. Hey, Jimmy Joseph. Praise the Lord. Our son is in the house. Jimmy Joseph. Coach Joseph. Again, let us like, let us share, let us take somebody, let us uh, uh, evangelize. Amen, amen. Uh, somebody is at a place right now in their life, they're stuck, they are literally ready to throw in the towel. They're wondering why all kind of things is happening to them, but they don't realize that God is not uh, allowing it to happen because he's trying to take them to something even greater. Amen. And if you want to get your Bibles and devices together, we are coming from... First Peter, four chapter. We're still dealing with Peter uh, in that series. Um, the fourth chapter, verses twelve through nineteen, 12 is what we're 19. going to cover on tonight. Verses twelve, 12 through, through 19. nineteen. We want to 
look at those verses, marinate on those verses, meditate on those verses, Amen. allow those verses to come and get into your spirit. I'm telling you, they will bless you uh, uh, as you uh, Amen. navigate Amen. Yes. Uh, into uh, Christian life, you know. Uh, I know sometimes people, uh, they promote and pervert gospel by telling you, this season, this is your season, and they see you in yes. so many great things, and blah, 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 to literally boast themselves. And so uh, uh, we're going to give you some factors that uh, Peter was sharing with the first century believers, and I believe even as it relates to those it related, it's relating to us. Hi, Sister Rose. Good Sister evening. Rose, Good God bless you, Sister Rose. Uh, um, the Williams family is in the house, Leroy William and the Quito. William, God bless you. Hi, Williams family. Y'all come on Sister in. Sister Law is in. in the house. Um, Cecilia, God bless you. Hi, Sissy. Praise the Lord, Kamika, for just uh, getting out and, 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 and evangelizing. He put shoes on our feet. She is witnessing in the street. In the street. And yet you don't have to leave the house and still be able to be a witness <laughs> in the street. So, huh? So let's take advantage of the uh, the devices. Of course, we are ambassadors. We are ministers of reconciliation. Mm -hmm. And God has given us a word of reconciliation. And tonight the word is rejoicing in suffering. In suffering. Hi, Ms. Uh, not Ms. not rejoicing for suffering, but rejoicing in, in suffering. suffering. And it may kind of sound a little, another oxymoron. How can I rejoice when I'm suffering? Hallelujah. Well, we're going to find out tonight how it is possible. Because we know that all things are Valentine, possible. Sister Valentine, Sister Valentine, a prayer warrior, mighty, Hi, sister, powerful sister woman Valentine of God. Sister Valentine and Brother Valentine. S sister Charlotte is in the house. God bless you. I see you, Evangelist. I see you. <laughs> Tony, Denise Tony, Butler, God bless you. Praise the Lord. That's amazing. That's what we got to do. We got to fight on. With the word of God. The that's sword Lord. in our hand. You fight on. Y'all come on in. Like, comment, and share as we are gathering in this little moment of greeting each and every one of you all. Uh, like, comment, and share. And get your Bibles and devices together. First Peter, fourth chapter. We're going to cover verses 12, 12 through 19. 19. Close out that chapter 19. on tonight. We will close out that chapter on tonight. Rejoicing and in we are suffering. rejoicing in suffering. We are rejoicing in suffering. Hi, Cheryl. Sister Law. Hi, Joanne. Y'all come on in. Good evening. Good evening. Good blessed evening. Good evening, We've Jennifer. We've been having some beautiful Duncan weather. Mitchell. Hi, God Sister bless you, Jennifer. Sister Jennifer. I know it may have seemed like we're in a drought of so We got a little sprinkle in yesterday. Brother Joseph Nelson and Donna Nelson, God bless you. Joanne is in the house. Yeah, come on in. Come on in. Yes, 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 Chelsea. Yes, imagine it's uh, we, possible. We're, we're, we're looking. Uh, we're asking again. Y'all go ahead. Put those. Put your witnessing shoes on. Tag somebody. Amen. Share. When he put, uh, like, when he put shoes, shoes on, on your feet, feet, we ought to witness, witness in the street. And we take that particular slogan from, from a man who, a giant in women. the community of Baton Rouge, we see? Um, a pest pastor, Jesse Bilberry, who uh, has taken flight. But we visited his church one, one year, time, yeah. and, and on that. his vans, he had that slogan. And we kind of captured that yeah, slogan and put it, it on our mission program. Praise so the Lord. in honor and memory of him, he's going to be uh, lying in state on tomorrow at his church on Scenic Highway. And then, of course, the Praise uh, the Lord, Sister Tiller. Demetrius White. Will be. God bless you, Demetrius. Yes. I think it's tomorrow. I could be wrong with the dates, so don't don't really quote me on the dates, but I know it's this weekend. But a giant in the community of Baton Rouge and surrounding communities. I pretty much uh, got to know him, not per se directly, but just know of him and, and just aware Amen. of him when I, in my days at SUNO. He was on the Board of Supervisors 
for many years. Many and kind of still like did did a lot of things with the in the Southern University system. So um, so yeah, that's what we got. We take that slogan from his from his church. Yes. Keep yes, the sword sister, but in God. your hand. Keep oh, it in your yes. hand, huh? Y'all come on in, like, comment, and share. We're going to be getting started shortly. Again, we're coming from 1 Peter 4, chapter, closing it out. We're going to cover verses 12 to 19, and the title is Rejoicing in Suffering. In We're still suffering. on this journey I'm suffering, of triumphant living. But I'm rejoicing in it because I know Suffering always precede glory. Hallelujah. If I'm going to get the crown, I have to endure the cross. No cross, no crown. I the Wilsons that's joining us. And therefore, I gotta go through it in order to get through it. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. He already Amen. given us the victory. We've yes. already overcome it, but yet we still. Amen. Amen. We're still going to go through. We're still. So, well, let's see readings for those Coleman, joining us on Zoom. Sis Coleman. Uh, Hi, Coleman. Brother. I hope Sis you Coleman. well. I know last week he was dealing with little, uh, he was dealing with a flu. Sound bad. Call me and uh, let me know that he was going to be at church on Sunday. I hope you're well, hope, so hope hope all is well that you're on the better. mend. Y'all yeah. yeah, come on in. Come on in. Greetings, Demetrius. Good to see you on the line on tonight. Y'all come on in, like, comment, and share. We're going to be getting started shortly. Yes, you don't want to. You, this Again, is... you can put your devices and Bibles to 1 Peter, the fourth chapter, verses 12 through 19. 12 through 19. God yes. bless. I'm telling you, you will be blessed on tonight uh, 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 with a. A word that uh, is it, it's spelled out, it's open out, but we're going to just give more light into the scripture. We want you to marinate into this area because God is truly speaking to us as believers. Amen, amen, amen. With that being said, we're going to move. Yes, we're going to go ahead and get started. Go ahead and get started. Um, I'm not bothered for whatever reason it's not showing. It may have been torn out, I don't know. Yeah. But at any rate, blessed, blessed, good evening to each and every one of you all. As we say, as you're coming in, like, comment, and share. We're so humbly grateful to have each and every one of you all, as you're so faithfully do, to uh, dine in with us, to have a seat at the table, to really uh, feast on God's word. Of course, you know, we've been on many journeys kind of just keeping us on track as we navigate this Christian journey, as we really um, strive to be in spiritual alignment. And the only way we can do that is, of course, through God's Word. And of course, as you are aware, we've been on this journey of triumphant living. Journey of triumphant living. We've been dealing with First Peter as we're going through this journey. And on tonight, um, we are going to deal with First Peter the fourth chapter we cover in verses 12 through 19. But before we really get into that, of course, we bring you greetings from the Amen mm -hmm. Baptist Church where we hold true to a mission of spreading God's love. And part of showing that love is by way of this Bible study, uh, table talk platform, teaching God's word. And we hope that you feel the love as we desire to really let it resonate through these airways. And of course, that is, we love the Lord, we love each other, and, and we, we love, love the lost. lost. We, we are growing and flowing in love. love. We are a church that is Christ-centered, Bible-based, and family-focused. And again, we're so happy to have each and every one of you all join in with us on tonight. If you get a chance, like, comment, and share as you're coming in. But I'm gonna go ahead and open up with First Peter, the fourth chapter. I'm just going to cover verse 12 for the sake of just opening it up in the sake of time. Again, 1 Peter 4, chapter, verse 12, and it reads, Behold, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you, mm. as though some strange thing happened unto you. 
I just read First Peter, for chapter verse twelve. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, the hearing, and the doing of His holy word. And the theme for tonight's lesson is rejoicing in, in suffering. suffering. Rejoicing in suffering. But before we dive into the lesson, we're going to ask that the pastor opens up with prayer. Amen. God, our Father, we come today in the name of the Lord and say that Jesus Christ, our head, our bow, our heart is lifted. God, we come into your presence, giving you glory, giving you praise oh, and honor, yes. because Thank God, you, you are God, and there's yes, no one you like are. you. You're Lord of Lords and kings above okay. all kings, and you are absolutely deserving, Lord God, of all of our praise. And God, as we come tonight, Lord God, we come and realize and recognize oh, that you yes. have not Thank dealt you, with Lord. us according to our sins, yes, nor have God. you rewarded us according to our iniquity. High as above, heaven above the earth, so great is your, your mercy toward yes. us. God, we just want to thank you tonight for your mercy, Lord yes. God. They are new every day, God. Every we Jesus. thank you, God, for being such a faithful thank God. You, Even Lord. in the midst of us not being yes. faithful, you continue you to be faithful. God, thank you for giving us everything thank that you, we Lord. need that is pertaining to life and godliness. And so, God, we believe even now, God, yes. that you've given us our spiritual yes. food, Lord yes. God, yes. through your word. Yes. And so, God, even as we come tonight, Lord God, to, to rightly divide the word of God, as we come to open up the, the word, God, oh, we yes. pray thank that you would you, open Lord. up our eyes, yes, Lord God, God, that we might see and behold wonderful things out of your law. God, we pray, dear God, that you will use us, dear God, as instrument, as a vehicle, Please, Lord God, Lord to be able to share with your people. Yes, so therefore, God. we decrease, we pray, God, in the name of Jesus, that you would increase, speak to us, speak oh, through us, yes, and speak you, for us. Anoint our lips of clay, Please, that Lord. we may speak in the oracles of God. And God, we pray that you will give us the power of your Holy Spirit, that we would do it in the ability you're glorified. Anoint every ear every, and every heart. Every yeah, ear is attentive yes, and every heart is receptive. Now, God, we lift this word up to you as a living seed. We pray Hallelujah. that it will go forward, Lord God, and it will fall in good ground, and it will produce a harvest 30, 60, and 100 fold. And God, we're mindful to give you all the praise, oh, all the yes. glory, and the honor. We ask it all in Jesus', Jesus name. name. And for our sake and for your glory, we pray. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Rejoicing. In suffering. Hallelujah. Rejoicing in, in suffering. suffering. Make it make sense. I want y'all to continue <laughs> to remember our theme. The general theme is journey unto triumph. triumph. Of course, triumphant is something we do not for victory, mm -hmm. but it's something we do from, from victory. victory. Of course, because of Jesus' death and burial and resurrection, his victorious resurrection, because of our faith in him, mm -hmm. that makes us more than a conqueror. Yes. It Amen. makes us Amen. an overcomer. Yes. It makes us victorious. Yes. Yes. It makes us triumphant. He, the Bible says, he calls us to triumph mm -hmm. and make manifest his saving knowledge yes. in every place. So no matter what our situation is, Melissa had put a text in there like it, God is bigger than anything we Come may on. face. Yes. And so whatever it, it is, is, if we put our faith and trust in God, Jesus. God will cause us uh, to triumph. But of course, uh, in uh, Peter's days, yes. of course, first century uh, Christian, mm -hmm. as well as our days, there was false teachers and false prophets and false apostles yes. that will come in and try to bewitch the people. Mm -hmm. They will pervert the yes. gospel. Mm -hmm. They will try to uh, promote the gospel yes. by telling people, prophesizing cash, credit cards, <laughs> and cars yes. that they're going to be healthy. They're going to be well, wealthy. wealthy. And they're mm -hmm. going to talk about prosperity. Mm -hmm. But, but, but. Peter said, let me give you some assurance. Yes. I'm going to give you assurance. But first of all, Jesus tells us in Matthew chapter 1, yes. I mean chapter 7, I want you all to know that. Jesus said, judge not that you be not, not judged. judged. And Come so on. a lot yeah, of times yeah, yeah. when people are say, um, uh, Melissa, we're not supposed to judge. Ah. Now, we're not supposed to judge for condemnation, for condemnation. but we are to judge for identification. Yeah. As a parent and as a pastor, we don't just, <laughs> we don't fat, fatten our children yeah. up. For the kill, Jesus no. says. He says to. He says that we should. We should um, beware of false prophet. Uh -huh. Matthew seven fifteen. Look at it. Beware of false prophet because they come in sheep. They're dressed in sheep clothing, yeah. but inwardly they're raven wool. Uh -huh. He said, by uh -huh. their fruits, yeah. you he shall know them. them. In other words. I'm not, I, I don't judge you to condemn you. Come on, yeah. I judge you to identify, identify. you. And so 
every Christian, all of us, to be ought to be a fruit to live, inspector. Yeah. Uh -oh. You need to know the fruits. <laughs> a grape ain't gonna go on yeah. from throne, of course. And, and, and so I know the, I know the the, the fruits. The tree by the fruits mm -hmm. is bare. And so I know what you're connected to based on your fruit. Mm -hmm. And so I have to identify. Therefore, I'm inspecting your fruit. Yes. And so Peter now says, listen, I'm not going I'm not gonna prophesy cash, credit card, and card. Uh -huh. But what I'm gonna prophesy and what I'm gonna tell you, and I can I can tell everybody that if you're gonna be a follower of me, you're gonna go through some suffering. Yeah. But Come when on. the suffering comes, Come he told us number one, we can anticipate, anticipate. we can anticipate suffering. Number two, when it comes, we can celebrate in it. Mm -hmm. And then number three, we have to make sure that we evaluate. Mm -hmm. We got to make sure I'm not suffering because I'm, I'm out here doing something that is contrary to the will of God. Because that's when it. you do that, you will suffer. Yeah. And so we have to evaluate it. And so tonight, that's where we are at uh, dealing with uh, rejoicing and yeah, suffering. suffering. So we're going to go in verse 12 and go in uh, uh, outline, Sister Brown. Amen, amen. You want me to kind of read verse 12 again? Or you yeah. Want to capture? Okay, so... Again, verse 12. Yeah, um, yeah go to verse 12 and then go on the um, thing. Don't use that one there. That, I, I you another email. Chapter 4, verse 12, and it reads, Behold, behold, I'm lost, I'm lost. beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing happen unto you. So, so, so the first verse, um, uh, Peter opened up, he says, I want you to know, brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. he said, don't count it strange. Don't think it's strange because of the fiery trial, the things that you talk are going through as some strange thing happening to you. Mm -hmm. First of all, we have to anticipate, verse 13 and 14, we have to anticipate suffering mm -hmm. is going to come. And so don't think it's, don't think it's strange uh, concerning your fiery trial. And so when he talk about fiery trial, he's talking about as a, a goldsmith who would take gold and when they put the gold in, he would put gold in heat. And whenever the gold was going through the mm -hmm. fire, uh, the impurity would rise to the top, mm -hmm. and it would skim that off the top. Off. And so mm -hmm. what God allowed us to go through some stuff, because some, some things on us, he said he have to take off of us. Mm -hmm. And of course, because we know our, our, we're going higher in the things of God, yes. one of the things we, we had to do anticipate. when we checked out, when we were getting mm -hmm. ready to check out and go on our trip, we had to go through a security check. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we had to make sure that if Amen. we were carrying some stuff Amen. on the plane, they made protected. us put it on the side. Amen. And so there's something God says that we are carrying. <laughs> and so he allowed us to go through yes. something. And so we got to go through a checkpoint, security mm -hmm. point, mm -hmm. because there's something in you mm -hmm. need to come out come of you. On. And so he allowed us to go through some suffering mm -hmm. to be able to make us a better product. Mm -hmm. Amen, amen. You got, you got the right one? Anticipate the suffering. Mm -hmm. Peter writes, Behold, do not be surprised at the fiery trial when it comes upon you to test you as though something strange Come were on. happening to you. The word fiery refers to a furnace in which gold and silver That's... are melted down so the impurities will come, come to the surface for removal. And we discussed that in the previous lesson. This reminds us God uses suffering as a part of his spiritual refining process. Job knew this, therefore, what does he say in Job 23 and 10? And so so why? He's that? using this. God using uh -huh. this. And so and God used the enemy for it. Mm -hmm. And so what the enemy think he meant for evil, Come God on. works it out oh, for good. Oh. And so Job, after losing all that he, he lost, after all of the atrocity, Job said, God, you know the way I take, the way that, I take. that after you tried Come me, on. I shall come forward. As pure gold. And so there's some stuff yes. that I need to get out of me. Uh -huh. That's come inside on. of me. <laughs> and if I don't go through this fiery yes, furnace, indeed. I'm not able to fly high. Mm -hmm. I'm not able to go high because there's it's something God said. Oh, oh, yes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it. It yes. went and holding me holding down. down. So back. God said, I'm going to bring you to my security come checkpoint. <laughs> yes. oh, and there's something in you. You yes. can't bring that on the oh. plane. This this you stuff can't. It. You cannot get to the destiny yeah. what you got you holding in, in you. You got to get rid of it. And so the way I do it is I allow you to go through the pile. Mm -hmm. I try to allow you to go through because I'm getting all of the impurity, yes. all yeah. the drops yeah. off of you. Literally, literally, uh, literally, whenever a goldsmith dealt with gold, uh, they would say, "How he know when he would have come to a final product?" Because what the goldsmith, as with gold, is he's trying to see his reflection. <laughs> his reflection. And so what? 
God really want to want to see in us mm -hmm. is He don't want to see that old nature. Come on. He wants to see if any man is in Christ, he's, he's a, a new creature. All his past. Yeah. And do it. I want to see my reflection. Yes. That's I don't right. need to go around and tell nobody I'm a Christian. Oh, People are the better than me. Come on. Because I see Christ mm -hmm. in you. Be, instead of thinking the fiery trial is strange, we should be surprised if suffering doesn't come. Mm. Bashing evangelical Christians has become a popular sport in America. However, we shouldn't be surprised when people misrepresent what we believe or what we say. This is because of what warning in 2 Timothy 3 and 12. So I want to make sure Sister Brown didn't say that too fast. And it's mm. amazing. I would be the one to talk the fastest, right? Mm -hmm. But we should be surprised if we don't go through suffering. Oh. We should be surprised if everybody, listen, being a Christian, everybody ain't going to like you. Pop Come on. Uh, you're not going to You're not going to be invited to everything. Hello. Yes. <laughs> and they're going to post it to make sure you see it. But mm -hmm. that's okay. Paul says to Timothy 3 and 12, mm -hmm. he said, all who live godly Come in on. Christ that's it. shall suffer. The key, yes. well, uh, that part, all uh, that live godly <laughs> in Christ. Let me say it again. you got to live godly in Christ. in Christ. He says, shall. Uh -huh. That means it's going to happen. Suffer persecution. Mm. So I'm, as a believer, I'm anticipating. Yes. And so I worry about what, what folks are saying. I oh, worry about whether they like me or not. That, I'm not wasting energy yes. based on who like me. Come on. Because I can, I, can, I can assure you, if they do like me, and they're doing stuff that is not godly, then something is wrong. Yes. So I am going to face persecution. Uh -huh. But God, I'm, I'm not focusing on them. I'm still because focusing you know, on that's me. That's it, that's it, that's it. And, and that's where it is. We have to make sure that we stay focused. Saying this on his ever march, his ever trail, his ever purpose to what? To derail us, to get us off track. And we got to be just that uh, fervent. And praise the Lord. Just that relentless. And so what I always, and my sure. thought is, whenever they, they do that, remember, you mm -hmm. bless them that curse uh -huh, you. Do good. It. You do good to the head. You pray for them. You know, why are you doing that? Because God literally using them mm -hmm. to do what? And so, so God, God, God tells us, vengeance is mine. Uh -huh. I will replace, says the Lord. Mm -hmm. And so if he hungry, feed him. Give him mm -hmm. every thirst, give him a drink. Don't you waste your time and energy. God is going to deal with them. But God, in the meantime, said, mm -hmm. even while you're going through it, I want to see what's coming out amen, of you. Amen, amen. And you can't see back wondering, especially when you know you haven't done a person nothing. Mm. And they seem to just have some sort of uh, thing Vendetta against you. Vendetta and, and, and hatred. And just, and just, well, which man. doesn't make sense. You can't allow yourself Don't count it strange. to be focused on figuring out why he, she, or they don't like you. Especially with there's nothing you know you did them wrong. You got to know that that's just a, the work of the enemy to try to get you to derail, to try to get you to get off track. They, 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 what, what, what somebody said once, they can't stand the anointing. Hallelujah. They can't deal with the anointing. So it's amazing. There, Folks, there I tell is. people, people will, will, will pray for you when you're going through, but they ain't going to celebrate mm. you when you're doing well. Come on. And so that's, and, and so. The next point is how we respond when it yes. comes. I know it's coming. Come on. But he says, watch this. Celebrate. Celebrate. And suffering. Celebrate. Celebrate and, and suffering. Verses 13 through 14. Did you do verse uh, uh, 13 first? That's covering 13. Okay, verse 13. Okay. Verse 13. But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, Ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. joy. Verse 14. If ye be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are ye. Mm. For the spirit of glory and of all of, and of God rested upon you. On their part, he is evil spoken of. But on your part, he is glorified. Praise the Lord. Now look, that's the scripture, but let me read. But just within that, it tells us how we ought to make sure mm. while we don't waste our time Come on. worried about who don't like us. We yeah. waste our time what people are saying. We don't Come do nothing. Because God, yes, he said, but rejoice. He said, even rejoice. while you're going through it, he rejoice. rejoice. Why? Because now you are partakers yes. of Christ. And of course, uh, you are in fellowship. Mm -hmm. You are in union with Christ. Mm -hmm. And that word Christ is the anointed. Amen. So watch this. You are wasting your anointing oh. when God is trying to pull out Say in that. you yeah. by while others Come are trying on. to pull you down. Yeah. And so that's why you got to confuse the enemy. Come because on. every time the enemy thinks they done set something up, they don't realize that, wait a minute, 
I'm partaking yeah, with Christ. On. And so now they begin. That was their jealous of. God says, I'm getting ready to pour more in come you. Come on, uh-oh. He says, you are, uh, he says, in the much as you're partakers of Christ's suffering, that when his glory shall be revealed, yes. you shall be what? Exceedingly. Mm -hmm. uh, exceedingly joy. And Jesus mm -hmm. taught the beatitude. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness. Mm -hmm. He says, rejoice. And be exceedingly glad. glad. For great is your reward, reward in, heaven. in heaven. So when they're doing it, you got to say, Yacht diggity do. <laughs> Guess what? God is getting ready to bless you yes, real good. Amen. He says, look, uh, uh, if you reproach, if you're being discredited mm -hmm. uh, for the name of Christ, happy are you. Happy are you. Guess what? They're Come doing on. it because you're simply doing the will of God. That's it. He said, because the spirit of God rests upon you. Come on. The anointed, the power of yes. God. God is literally strengthening you when they think they'll tear you down. Mm. You become even more. On his, on his part, they're even spoken of, but on your part, he's glorified. Sister Brown, you could go and read it. That's something I want you to meditate Amen. on. I want you to meditate Amen. on. This is how I'm telling you, you become even, even with the enemy, mm. think they're trying to make you, uh, stop you or whatever. Then really, when you, you when moment. you begin to shift, yes, all of a sudden now, and focus on what God is that's doing in it, your life, God begin to that's start raising. When they put you on, yeah. God says, literally, on, I'm raising you up. Triumphant. I'm talking about, I am rejoicing. Yeah. That's why I can rejoice, not for it, mm -hmm. but I can rejoice in it. Celebrate why I can rejoice in it? Because I have the Christ. Yes. I am partakers Come with on. Christ. This is Brian Come reading on, on that. On. Peter continues, but rejoice in so far as you share Christ's suffering. Peter doesn't tell us to enjoy our suffering. Mm. There's a difference. He says rejoice in it. Mm. Enjoying means we take pleasure from something. Rejoicing means we choose not to let it. suffering steal the inner joy Come on, please. of knowing God as a purpose for allowing it. When we suffer for living by God's word, we share Christ's suffering. Mm. The word translated share or, or partakers, partakers means fellowship or partners. When we suffer for obeying God's word, we deepen Hallelujah. our fellowship with the Lord Jesus. And that's the most uh, <laughs> so so know, the more thing. the more you go through, mm -hmm. the more the better the, the more you getting stuff off come of on, you, come on now. the Hallelujah. more you're in fellowship with God, yes. and that anointing becomes even more oh, relevant in your it. life. Yes. And so they're like, okay, Indeed. wait a minute, I thought. You confuse them and, all no, of them. And, and, I thought and, and, I had them. Because I thought by because them, I'm partaking, mm -hmm. I'm connecting, yes. I'm in fellowship, I'm uh, uh, awake, yes. right? I'm sharing in yes. Christ's suffering. Amen. And to me, I, I that's where you want to be. Mm -hmm. I want to get to know yes. God even greater. It and, makes me want to worship more. Mm. It makes me want to go higher, higher in my worship because I know who I'm doing it for, not to please man. The older I'm getting, I'm knowing more and more I'm about pleasing God. Praise the Lord. And, and so you can't get caught up in who's celebrating with you or who's acknowledging you. Your worship is your worship. It's a personal thing. Praise the Lord. And it is for real. And so, That's what you have to so one word I want to underscore and underline is not said, but mm -hmm. it's called maturity. Yeah, that's it. That point. Mm -hmm. That <laughs> point. It's called maturity. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's called growing up. Uh-huh. That's it. Going through suffering with someone bonds you to that person. Come on. Mm. Just ask any war veteran. Many veterans have reunions 40 and 50 years after the war in which they fought together. When we suffer for standing for God's word, we get closer to Jesus. Come on. That should cause us to rejoice. Peter continues that you may also rejoice and be glad when his glory is revealed. Our present suffering for Christ's sake is similar to to a pregnant woman anticipating her baby while having birth pains. Mm. After she gives birth, her suffering is replaced with the joy of a new baby. In the same way, the future hope of his glory should cause us to rejoice in our present suffering. And how does Romans 8 and 17 so notice, reminds us of this? I'm pregnant. Uh -huh. I'm going through yeah. some intense labor. Oh, and then it's intense. My water bag is broken. <laughs> Yes. I'm in my what? Come on. 
What messed up? Nine. Nine, okay. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. I'm very tribe messing, but you're not. I'm going to start dialing, mm -hmm. and things are being ready to break out. Yeah. And the pain is so intense. Yeah. But 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 I know what's coming out in the know pipe. What's coming. I know what's get I know joy uh -huh. getting ready to come. Yeah. So I can deal with the pain yeah. because, because of because of what, what I'm getting ready to do. The Bible the says Christ for the joy that was set before him. Come on, come on. All the pain and all yeah. the agony oh. that he dealt with at Calvary, yeah. he said he endured the he cross. Endured. And despise the shame. Mm -hmm. Why? Because of the joy that was yeah. destroyed. And because we already know uh, uh, glory is coming out of this. It's coming. I'm yeah, all going through it. But guess what? Uh, I can endure the pain yeah. because I know the pain mm -hmm. precedes the glory. Come on, he said, you? and children uh, of God, heirs of God, joint yeah. heirs with Christ. If so we suffer with him, uh -huh. we also shall glorify Bye. Together with yeah. him. Listen, when we're going through the suffering and because we're in partnership with God, you already know our future hope. And Come our on. hope is being absolutely certain uh, of coming good. good. And so I know I'm going through it, but yeah. I know something good it's is coming out of happen. this. Hallelujah. I'm about to give, I'm about to give baby. I'm, I'm about to give, I'm about to have triplets, y'all. <laughs> God gonna give me triple for my suffering. Yes, indeed. Hallelujah. <laughs> and if we're still with that mindset. Brazil. We can save ourselves so much heartache. Come on. We can save uh, ourselves so much anguish. So we just with the, the with that mindset of when we're going through and look, that's not to negate what you're going what through. What you're feeling, that's the reality of your situation. But that, but you don't want to be stuck in that reality. You there's a reality in knowing the power of God and what God has said in his word. And so one of the things we have to always mm -hmm. know is the fruits of the spirit. That's yeah. why we have to Come grow on. in the word of God. Yeah. Uh, the Bible says, but the fruits of the spirit uh -huh. is love, Joy, joy and peace. peace. So there's an inner joy. Come on. So don't let the enemy listen. I'm gonna I'm go through it, but stop. I can't allow him yeah. to rob me of my inner joy. That's it. So when That's I lose it. my inner joy, mm -hmm. I lose the thing that is, I lose the hope. What Come am on. I anticipating? Yes. And so I can go through it with the inner joy. Uh -huh. My joy of the Lord the is my strength. It, and and so the joy the that I have, yeah. the world, yeah. and so if I constantly <laughs> know that I have an inner yes. joy, on, then this is the thing that give me, I'm joy, mm -hmm. the joy, mm -hmm. he said for the joy mm -hmm. that was laid up before yeah, him, yeah, yeah. I went through it, yeah. I endure, yeah. I persevere, yeah. why? Yes. Because I already know glory is coming Come out on. of this. All right, hallelujah, hallelujah, the anticipation. Yeah, I'm anticipating, anticipating. I am, I, I am anticipating, and so I can celebrate Yes. I'm anticipating While I'm suffering, yes. but I'm also anticipating yes. His glory coming on, out of hallelujah. this, so I can suffer. I can celebrate yes. even while I'm taking you to the hospital. Even <laughs> while you, even while you're there, I'm and I'm, uh, even while yes. I say, "Baby, keep pushing, yes. push that thing, yes. pray until something yes. happens. Yes. Keep pushing, but take an upper door." Yes. <laughs> All right, move on. I'm, so, I want to honor my mom. I'm yeah, trying to, I'm, I trying but, to do but it. I got insurance, baby. I took me out of it. I was trying to take more of it. I was right there. And you know what? Just like I talk you out of it. Oh, how many times people on, try to take something to cover it up on. and miss out yeah. on we're getting ready and instead of taking the pain? Yeah. Because if there's no pain, there's no gain. Come on, there's no, you, you got to go through the process. Ooh, you got to understand ooh, ooh. that butterfly you as he go through Come his on. metamorphosis. Yeah. He has to push through. And all that. But while he's pushing, uh, his wing constantly developing. Mm -hmm. Don't cut him. Let him go uh -huh. through it. But yes. when he come out, he going to soar yes. as a butterfly. God says, I'm trying to take you somewhere, Come but on. I got to get some stuff out yes. of you. Yes, hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> so as we rejoice in suffering, we should anticipate in suffering, celebrate in suffering, and now evaluate, evaluate. suffering. Make sure, look, look, evaluate we, we need suffering. to do a luggage check. Come on. There are some things you, you got to make sure you can't bring. that you ain't going through you this just can't bring it. because something you're doing. Mm. And so this is what Peter is saying. We can expect it. We can mm -hmm. anticipate it. Celebrate in it. But yeah. you can't celebrate Amen. if you are here doing it. I'm putting it in yours. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so I'm, uh, I'm going to read verses. Uh, that's covering verses 15, 15 through, through 19. 19. Verses 15 through 19. And it reads, But there, but let none of you suffer as a murderer. Come on, y'all. Or as a thief. Come or on. as an evildoer. Or as a busybody in others men's matters yet if any man suffer as a christian let him not be ashamed 
but let him glorify God on this behalf. For the time has come when judgment. that judgment must begin at the house of God. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? And if the righteous scarcely, scarcely be saved, what? where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Verse 19. Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of God commit the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing as unto a faithful creator. Praise the Lord. So, 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 so what happened is Peter is now thinking about it. He's, he's, he's speaking now mm -hmm. to uh, the first century believers who is going through intense persecution mm -hmm. because they're a follower of Jesus Christ. And while they're going through it, Peter says, I'm, I'm, I'm prophesying to you. I'm not prophesying. Mm -hmm. I'm not giving you cash, credit card, and cards. I don't, I, I don't see that coming. But what yeah. I do see, Come on. you can anticipate it. Yeah. And you can celebrate in it. Yeah. But don't you get into the world and start to compromise uh, come in the world. Don't you start walking in the yes. counsel of ungodly. Don't you start sitting in the seat of the scornful. Don't you start standing in the way. You know why? Yes. Because if you start doing that, you're going to end up becoming like them. Come on, conforming. Through that, mm -hmm. you want to suffer even more yes. because the Bible says uh, 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 you become mm -hmm. like a dog yeah, returning to, to your own family. Yes, Come God. on, let's go in verse uh, verse uh, 15, it is. Verse 15. Verse 15. Yes. He says, but let no one suffer as a murderer, a thief, or evildoer, or busybody other, uh, of other men matters. Now, y'all know what a murder is. Mm -hmm. Murder is something that is manifest on the outside, but it carried on out from the inside. Yes. When when a murder happened, it's mm -hmm. something on the inside, mm -hmm. but we see the manifestation. Yeah. And listen, we don't have to murder people with guns. We don't have to murder people with knives. Mm -hmm. But how many how many lives we done destroy? My God, my God. With our mouths. Come on. Ooh. How many how Ooh. many ministry? Yeah. How many marriage? Yeah. How many just just yeah. how many things we are can Tear kill? Down. Yeah. And so as Without a believer, mm -hmm. we have to be uh, be careful. Because mm -hmm. listen, your words yeah. is sharp than it to to a four. Dead in life. It's in the power okay, of read yeah. read that. So you can murder let even no false communication. Huh? It, yeah, that that no, no, let no false mm -hmm. communication proceed out, out of your, your mouth, mouth, but that which is good. Yes. Okay, verse 15, he said, uh, murder. Or as a thief. Now I'm going to go on the paper. I'm going to do it, Sister Brown. Listen, y'all know what a thief is. Mm. That's part of the commandment. I said not steal. <laughs> but listen, if 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 you're not giving God mm. what he rightfully deserves, when you're not giving God his time, mm. when you're not giving God his talent, yeah, yeah, when you're not right. giving, how I many y'all know you robbing God? Oh, the Bible said, will a man on. rob God? Come on. And yeah. then they were saying, man, where in the world we robbed me? Yeah. They said, you robbed me. Come on. You robbed me. You didn't give me did you it. didn't give me your first. Come on. You didn't get matter of fact, you were giving when me stuff did. that yeah. are a leftover. Yeah. And so you gotta be mindful mm -hmm. that you can steal. Yeah. You go on your job and mm -hmm. you know you're supposed to be working 40 hours, but you're working uh, 30 hours out of the week, but you're still getting paid for it. You're stealing. Hallelujah. And so you have to be mindful. He said, if you're going through and you don't get the promotion, yeah. and you say, well, why in the world I didn't get the promotion? Mm -hmm. Well, they watched you. Yeah. Because you was clocking in mm -hmm. late mm -hmm. and leaving early. Come on. And they watch you and they ain't say nothing. Yeah. And so when Sue Ellen Wait, got the promotion, come on. and you say Sue Ellen started way after you, mm -hmm. then go back and check and see whether or not you were stealing. Oh, whether you was faithful, <laughs> whether you where your allegiance was. Praise the Lord. So I you can steal. Verse 15. Let me, let me keep on going. Mm -hmm. Evil doers. Mm -hmm. Come on. Evil doers yeah. are busy body or as busy body in others' matters. Mm -hmm. And you know what an evil doer is? You know what a busy body? Mm -hmm. It's a person who gossip. Mm -hmm. And we talked about that. Whoever gossip to you. Mm -hmm. Will gossip about, about you, you. Yeah. and so when you entertain Amen. gossip, Amen. then you still gossiping. Yeah. And so when when you do that, then people start to gossip about you. Yes. Then you going through it simply because you allow it All right, that's to it. come into your spirit. That's it. That's Verse it. sixteen. That's it. Verse sixteen. Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God on this 
on his behalf. So remember, we talked about the refining process of going to the fire your furnace. Mm -hmm. And because uh, uh, the, the ultimate goal for all of us that Christ would be seen. Remember, in Antioch, they were called Christian. Mm -hmm. And the reason why they were called Christian was because when it was uh, uh, going, they would call them in the way. They will call them followers of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And so now when they were calling them Christian, they said, man, these people are following an uh, uneducated yeah. uh, uh, a fisherman, mm -hmm. a person who was crucified. Mm -hmm. And so he said, these people, they call them Christian. Mm -hmm. So it was really a mockery. Mm -hmm. My question tonight is, how many people literally calling you Christian oh. because of your action? Come on. He says, look what he said, let him suffer as a uh, uh uh, uh, as, a as a Christian and not be ashamed yeah. but glorify God on his behalf. We ought to not be ashamed of, no. of Christ. Sister Brian, you want to read it on the page? Not be ashamed for suffering for Christ. For Christ's sake. Mm -hmm. And that's a different than the type of suffering. It's suffering for, for Christ's, Christ's sake. sake. And we sing that song. Don't get it twisted. Carol Lewis, you sing that song? Mm -hmm. uh, Lord, I mean <laughs> to live holy. Yeah, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me get it right. I'm going to see it. Lord, I, I oh, you done took over now. You took it over. You didn't just throw it back from my heart. So it back from my heart. It's just build them up. That I have to suffer. <laughs> then I suffer just to have eternal life. She still believed in Barack Obama, the president, yeah. our 44. When he came in, they had the bailout <laughs> plan. So she said, you know what? I'm going to bail him out. He ain't yeah. going on there with that. I'm going to bail him clean out of this here. Don't you even go no. <laughs> She bailed me out. Thank you, babe. Let me get a high five on that. I think you deserve amen, it. Amen, uh, amen, keep on amen. going. So, so, so we have to suffer as a Christian. Yes. Christ like. Verse, uh, verse 17. Let me just do it. He said, for the time will come mm -hmm. when judgment must begin. Yes. It's going to begin where? At the house, At the of, house God. of God. Oh, my God. He said, when judgment Come began, it's going to begin in the, the house, house of God. Of God. Why yeah. would judgment begin in God's house? Mm -hmm. Because God is the one who's going to evaluate Come this on. thing. Oh. God is oh, the one oh, oh, oh. who's, we yes. all have to give an account of we our stewardship. Yes. And God literally, he already uh, know. He, he got the record. Know. God has the record. Got, and so God day. said, get what? Every day. It's amazing. Mm. I'm about to tell you, you don't have to go to Timmy do to do <laughs> stuff. God, the very the eyes of God run to yeah. and fro throughout the whole earth. Everywhere. He's God an omnipresent God. Yes. You might fool the pastor, mm. but you got to don't 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 get it so twisted yeah. thinking that the pastor got to give an account of your your That's right. your, you your have stewardship. To give an account to the pastor. You Ultimately, have to give an account to yes, God, yes, and yes, judgment yes. will begin in God's house. Mm -hmm. God said, "That's why it's so important we get the house in order, because judgment gonna begin then." Uh, uh, and if it first begin with us, mm -hmm. what shall the, it be the end of those who didn't obey? Mm -hmm. What gonna be the end of those? We already know in the book mm -hmm. of Revelation it tell us that. But God says when He come, he, there's gonna be a great separation, and so He's starting in the house, house of God, and that's why it's so wow. important that we stop playing church yes, and we it. be about Christianity. Yes, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Where you want to go? Where you go, want to go, go? Go to verse 18. We just verse 18. Out. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? My Lord God. So he said, if, 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 if the on. righteous, scarcely. those who are in right standing with God, Come on. those who are uh, 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 who righteousness has been imputed because yeah. of what Christ did, who have been spiritually mm -hmm. bankrupt and imparted by the present power yeah. of the Holy Spirit. Of course, all of our righteousness are filthy rags, but thank God that I'm not wearing the rags uh, mm -hmm. of, of my flesh, but yes. I got the blood of Christ. Come on. And so he said, but even the righteous are, it's hard, they're hardly saved. Mm -hmm. He said, what gonna happen? Gonna could happen? you could imagine what gonna happen to those who are not saved? Who are ungodly. What's going to happen to the ungodly? Where will they appear? Where will they appear? Mm -hmm. They are all. Uh, 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 in the book of Revelation, I, mm -hmm. I, I, I outlined the book of Revelation. In the book of Revelation, after the rapture of the church, after the fourth and fifth chapter, uh, they're going to go through from chapter number mm -hmm. six all the way to chapter 19. It's going to call. Hallelujah. Make sure we're in that number. Make verse sure. 19. Let, let's in, do the last in one. In our last verse. Wherefore, let them that suffer. According to the will of God, commit the keeping of their souls to him 
in well doing as unto a faithful creator. So, so as we evaluate our situation, he said, look, if you're suffering because of the will of God, uh, commit uh, to keeping of our soul. Uh -huh. God has been entrusted to keeping of our soul. Uh -huh. If God save us, God going to sustain us. Yes. All that the Father, you say, all the Father give me mm -hmm. shall come and he will come. I will no wise cast him out of my hand. The Father which is greater than all and no one is able to cast him out of my Father's hand. God says I'm committed mm -hmm. to keeping of your soul because I am uh, 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 unto well doing, I am a faithful creator. So I'm just telling you that no matter what you're going through, no, no matter, matter what you're, don't you turn around. That's it. Uh, 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 Jane Cleveland says, uh, I, don't uh, no uh, I, I don't feel no way time. Mm -hmm. Come I've come far. too far from where, I from where I started from. Nobody told me. Nobody told me that the road would be easy. That the road would be easy. I don't believe. I don't believe it. I don't believe. I don't believe. It. I don't believe. It. I don't believe it. He brought me this far. He brought me this far. Come on, to, to leave, leave me. And she also said it this way: He yes. prepared me for what, what He has prepared, prepared for me. me. Yes. And every trial, and every situation yes. that I go through. Then I make sure that as I evaluate yeah, it, I'm doing it, it not it. because of something I have done, Come on. but because I'm living for Christ. Yeah. And God is committed to keeping my soul yeah. because he is a faithful He's creator. A faithful God. Because if he created me mm -hmm. and recreated me, God says, I am faithful to keep you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that's the crux of it all. God is a faithful God, even when we're not faithful. God is a faithful, he's a just God, he's a forgiving God, he gives us chances upon chances. He know we falter, he know we, we, we get it wrong sometimes, he know we stumble. But he gives us grace each and every day Hallelujah. to get back on track, to get it right. And as we're rejoicing in our suffering, yeah, it may sound like an a oxymoron, but the rejoicing in our suffering is when we're suffering for Christ's sake. For his sake. We know that it is purposeful. It's going to be rewarded. We just got to hang in there. We just got to go through it. We got to anticipate it, first of all. Don't necessarily let it catch us on God. God is keeping us well breast on what, in a lot of ways, what to expect. Because even in the suffering, we know that if we trust in God, God is going to pull us through it. He's going to get us through it. And so while we have it, dealing with the pain and all, we know it's just a test. We know it's just a process, but if we keep our eyes on the prize, we know we will travail. We know we will get over that home. Ask my sister. When mm. she was going through her suffering, mm. she was going through her suffering, she was going through her suffering, we kept encouraging her. It's going to get better. That's going to, we kept encouraging her. It's, it's going to get better. It's going to get better. She finally got over that home, and when she got over that home, some of the stuff she don't even remember. But she stood the course. She hung in there because she trusts and believed, not only what the doctor said, but she trusts and believed what the, what the God said God to her had already many seen. times over. Many times over. You're so not, she hung in there. You're not so alone. We are partners, alone. In, you're partners in it. My glory is going to be revealed. Amen. You're going through the pain. Amen. But always remember, you didn't already had, you didn't already had three babies. Yeah. You Ooh. know what it was like. Ooh. And guess what? You pushed through that. God. You, you prevailed through that. And guess what? You getting ready to push through something else. Yes. And if I did it before. I can do it again. And so Melissa says, uh, look, Romans 8, uh, uh, 8, 38 and 39, but I'll go all the way to uh, 35. Mm -hmm. It says, who shall separate? Well, 34, mm -hmm. uh, 33. Who shall, who it is that condemn? Who it is that, that, that uh, Christ died, mm -hmm. yet risen again, even sitting at the right hand of God and making accessory for us? Who shall separate us from the love of God? Shall tribulation, distress, persecution, famine, and nakedness, perilous world? Mm -hmm. It is perils of war. It is written for thy sake. We are all kill yeah. all day long. We all, all, all counted for the sheep for the slaughter. Mm -hmm. Nay, and all these things. You Come gotta on. say, and nay, and all these and things. All these things. We are not just conqueror. We are more than the conqueror than. through Him because through we are partners with Him. Yeah. He says, so I am for. I'm Fully yeah, persuaded yeah. that neither death nor life, nor angel, nor principality, nor thing nothing, present, nor thing to nothing, come, nor height, nor nothing, death, nothing, nor any nothing, other creature nothing, shall be able to, to separate, separate me from the, from the love, love of God, God, which is in Christ, Christ Jesus. Jesus. I love him so much yeah. that I'm not going to let nothing separate come on, me. Come on, nothing. And that's what we have to hold fast to. We will let nothing separate us from the love of God. And even through the suffering, even through the challenges, even through all that we endure in life, when we are in lockstep with the will of God, and when God sees that we are faithfully and fervently and genuinely trying our best to please Him, 
to live our best blessed life. We know we're going to be triumphant. So huh. even through the suffering, the anticipation, the, 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 evaluation. the evaluation, and of course it's celebrating. It's all for purpose. It's all for gain. Hallelujah. To live is Christ. To die is gain. Hallelujah. Rejoicing in suffering. Another well-pointed lesson we know we've gone over. We thank over you all for just hanging in there and tearing with us. To really get all that you can to glean from his word. Because, you know, we all need it. To help us, as we oftentimes say, navigate this terrain of life. We know even, we living in even more challenging times. In a challenging season. We've seen things we never thought we would have saw and witnessed. And God is yet still dealing with us individually and collectively. And how do we... Uh, recognize and, and try to be on track with it. It is in the word of God. Keep the sword in your, in hand. your hand and fight on. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, Pastor. Praise the Lord. Yeah. We hope and pray that you have been blessed. We certainly always over time, but when you get into the Word of God, it's just a, it's just an excitement and excited to be able to unfold and open the Word, especially as we yes. sit down and think about it. These first century uh, believers, Peter was giving them that Word. Uh -huh. uh, that's that's what they had at that particular time. That's all they had. That's all they the had. problem with that's us, all they had. the more we seem to Ooh, have, the, the farther we get away from yes. God. And so now we get to the place. Where, where the pandemic comes, we start mm -hmm. doing what we call table talk, uh -huh. and we finally get a chance, you know, for some people to say, you know what, I didn't know the Bible says that. Yeah. And now you're interested in what mm -hmm. he says, because the Bible is basic instruction before, before leaving, leaving earth. earth. And, and we have to take the word of God yes. and let it be a lamp into our feet and, and a light, light into our pathway. Yeah. The step of a good person is oh, ordered by, by the Lord. Lord. The yeah. word, of course, uh, is our weapon. Mm -hmm. And when the enemy come in like a flood, as through the lust of the flesh, yeah. through the lust of the, the eye, mm -hmm. and through the pride of life, Jesus taught us how to be able to Amen. win the victory Amen. with that sword Amen. in our hand. Listen, Amen. God bless y'all on tonight. We can yes. talk all night. I love the Lord, <laughs> and I know you do. And of course, uh, uh, and I know you do. So we're going to we're gonna ask that y'all pray for the uh, uh, Monique Butler's family. Yes. Of course, on, on, on um, Saturday, Saturday, we have the celebration service for Henrietta, uh, Henrietta E. Chain Brown. Yes. Of course, they belong to uh, St. Luke Methodist Church, but because of things happening uh, in the church, they're having it at the Emmanuel Baptist Church. Mm -hmm. We're asking our members to come on out and show uh, um, encouragement for Monique Butler, mm -hmm. Tiffany, uh, mm -hmm. Cherie. Those Cherie. are members are very dedicated yes. and committed to uh, <clears throat> our service as their own team. And so we ask that all of our, our ushers and choir members and all come and, and at least thank God and help us out as we celebrate uh, Henrietta's uh, life. I remember Henrietta used to go to every church she possibly yes. can with the Bible in her mm -hmm. hand. She loved God and so we really want to celebrate them on Saturday uh, at 11 o'clock. Uh, of course, we will have Sunday school in church, so we will have Sunday school on the go because we're going to be on the go, and we'll have that uh, celebration right after. Again, let us pray one for another. Amen. Let us continue to pray uh, uh, again for our community and just all, all, just all over the world Amen. that we just see things happening in such a, a fast pace. Amen. Pray, Father God, we come today in the name of Jesus. We come, Lord God, the closing of our uh, another wonderful lesson. God, we just want to thank you. Thank you to God for the Holy Spirit, Lord God, uh, who taught us, Lord God. You said we need not a teacher, but yes, the Holy Spirit God. teaches us all oh, things. Yes. And he brings all things into our remembrance, yes, that he will guide us into all truth. Oh, yes. And God, thank as we you. yield to you, the Holy Spirit, I'll we just want to thank you today, Lord thank God. You, we Lord. take no credit of our own. None, none. Spirit of the living God, we still believe oh, you, yes. Lord God, not only at work and in our teaching, but we are believing, Lord God, the Holy Spirit, that yes. you will open up the yes, eyes God. of our members. Yes, Lord God, somebody oh, is suffering, yes. Lord somebody, God. Lord. Somebody are at the width end. Yes, Somebody's God. at a place, Lord God, where oh, they were getting yes. ready to throw in the towel. They were getting ready to give up. Hallelujah. But God, thank you today thank you, for your revelation yes, knowledge, God. Lord God, that even in our suffering, even, Lord, Lord God, we can expect it, we can anticipate oh, it, yes. but God, we can celebrate in it because we are suffering not because yes. we did anything wrong. 
but because we are doing Hallelujah. the will of God. Yeah. And God, we already know, God, that even in the midst of even our suffering, Lord. we can rejoice because we are partnering with oh, you. Yes. And God, we can celebrate yes, in it. God. And God, as we evaluate Hallelujah. our situation, I pray, God, for them. I pray, God, for a spirit of enlightenment. Yes, I pray for God. edification. Please, please, I pray yes. for encouraged yes. exhortation, yes. Lord God. And Father God, we, can, we pray tonight, Lord God, for every family every that Lord. has been connected yes, with us. We plead the blood of Jesus over every yes. Family, yes, God. Lord Thank God, you. I pray that even as a song is, uh, is just being sung to us, dear God, that we continue oh, to fight on, on and that we would have our sword in, in our, our hand, hand, which is the word of yes. God, Lord God, and God, that we continue to pray one for another, Lord God, oh, yes. so that we can begin to continue to be effective and efficient in our ministry. God, we yes. pray special prayer for Monique Butler. We oh, pray yes. for yes. Tiffany Robinson. Yes. We pray, oh Sherry God, for Sherry yes. Joseph. And we uh, pray, Lord God, for the Eton the Brown yes. family, Lord God. And we just pray for all, all who are mourning, Lord God. We know you're Bill a comforter. Yes. And God, we know you will not leave us oh, comfortless, yes. but you will send the Holy Spirit who comfort us, Lord God. Oh, yes. So God, comfort them today. Please, throw Lord. your loving arms around them. Give them, Lord God, beauty for oh, ashes, yes. joy for mourning, garment of praise for a spirit of heaviness. Let them know, God, that your anger oh, is just yes. for one moment, but your favor is life. Weeping men do it for a night, but joy oh, do yes. come in the morning. God, continue to bless our bless our community, Please, Lord God. Lord bless our parish. Bless this state, Lord God. Bless our nation, God. We pray for blessing all oh, over the yes. world. Thank and God, as we celebrate on Sunday, yes. God, our breast cancer awareness. Yes. God, as we come, Lord God, wearing pink, Lord God, oh, yes. to show, Lord up. God, that up. we are standing yes. with those, Lord God, who may be dealing with yes. uh, 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 this disease. Oh, we are yes. celebrating those who, Lord God, are yes. survivors. Yes. And God, we We're are here, Lord God. We are remembering those who, God, we have succumbed oh, to, yes. Lord God, uh, 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 the battle. Yes, but we God. already know that they're oh, still victorious yes. because yes, they won God. the war. Again, God, bless our service. We're oh, expecting yes. to have a great time yes, as we God. pick it out. And God, we pray again for our women and, and Swan and all of those who will just be engaged oh, with yes. just Thank reminding God. us Lord God, to make sure that we do our part oh, by yes. going you, get uh, checked in and all other things. And we pray for all, everywhere where they're having breast cancer, awareness again, and we want our women to know that they are not in this alone. Hallelujah. But yet, God, we were able to see a movie oh, yes. called Women King. Yes. We know, God, that we yes. have some mighty warriors. Hallelujah. Thank you to Sister Lara yes, for your score. God. Thank you, Wanda, <laughs> for your score. Yes. Thank you, Juanita, uh, yes. for your score. Yes. We just thank you Thank you, yes. Lord God, for everybody yes, God. Who, who are literally letting us know that oh, you are yes. women warriors. Yes. And God, we give you glory Hallelujah. for them all and praise and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Y'all be blessed. Let us go forward knowing that we are more than conquerors. We get the victory through Christ. We suffer. We rejoice in our suffering because of Christ's sake. Amen. And y'all know Christ. how we end this thing. We love y'all. We mean it, and you can do something about it. Come on, y'all. Let's see some love. I've learned how to do this. Look at me. I'm showing that, huh? Show, Show us some love. Show us some love as y'all fight on. We're going to have a reunion. We, we celebrate. We are partnering together with you in Christ. Come on, my, you better you. You are not right. You are oh, not right leaving my law behind. I told you that. That's the Wilson. Oh, that's the Wilson. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's the Wilson. Uh. <laughs> y'all be blessed. Love you all. You find all chilly and cold. Now my soul, keep your small. In your hand, you find all, you find all. Keep it sworn. Oh, you find all. I see you, mama. Oh, you find all. Oh, keep your sworn in your hand. You find all, you find all. Hi, hi, Malisha. Hope Malik is feeling better. Oh, Brent's kid does surgery on Sunday. Oh, she goes through surgery. We definitely will be Cheryl lifting her up. Oh, she goes through. Word of God, you scored. You find all. You find all. You find all.
Thank you, man. Let's get it up there. I'm gonna be what? You gotta fight a good fight of faith with the word of God. You gotta fight weapon. on. Oh, you fight 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 on. You better fight on. Come on, come on, all of my survivors, say fight on. If you're a survivor, I need you to say fight on. And you don't just have to survive breast cancer, but some of y'all been in some situation that you know that have it not been for God on your side. Come on, if you're a survivor, I need you to say I'm going to fight on. We still going at it, y'all. Fight on, fight on, if you're a survivor. <laughs> Oh, uh, come on, I'm a survivor. They told me I wasn't going to be nothing, but I'm going to fight on. They're constantly looking at the for, for failure, but guess what, y'all? I'm partnering with Christ. I'm fighting on. They lied on me, but guess what, y'all? Smile in my face and talk behind my back, but guess what, y'all? I'm fighting on. I feel good. <laughs> Come on, y'all, fight the good fight of faith. Where my warriors at? Come on, come, come on, and you and, and, and you're singing with glory. And now you done died to yourself to come to yourself. Watch God. Woo! Fight on, Lee. Come on, fight on, fight on. Sister Val, you still on there or what? Keep fighting, girl. Sister Melissa, keep Come on, Melissa, keep fighting, girl. Sister Val, you still on here or what? Mother, love, where you at? I see Raymond and Juanita. Y'all better fight on. <laughs> we the men do it for a night, but do what? Joy gonna come in the morning. Keep fighting, y'all. Come on, you get ready to have triplets. Keep pushing. I, I see three hard beats in you. That's why you're going through all that pain. You find You find You find You find You find You find God bless you all. <laughs>